So in raising goats, really the single most important thing is parasite control. And the best uh, technique and tool that we have to do that is to do our own fecal samples and fecal test. So I'm gonna demonstrate the modified McMaster's fecal egg counting technique. And I got this from the North Carolina State Extension Service. So as far as things that we need is a fecal float solution. Obviously this is something I made myself. And on their website, they have uh, the directions on how to make that too, which we can put the link for this website in the description below. And we'll need 26 milliliters, which I already have measured out. And then we need four grams of feces, which I have here already weighed out. Uh, we'll need a pipette. We'll need a strainer. And then we also need these uh, McMaster fecal egg counting slides. And again, we'll put a link for where you can purchase these. And then also, obviously, we need a microscope, which is over here in the cabinet. So, so as far as for this technique, what we're going to do first is we're going to take the four grams of feces. We're going to add the 26 milliliters of the salt solution in there. And then we're going to use this uh, popsicle stick, tongue depressor, whatever you want to call it, and kind of chop up all the pellets and to get it to mix really good. So we're just going to break everything up in there. All right, so now that we have the four grams of feces mixed in good with the 26 milliliters of the salt solution, I'm going to take the vial that I poured the salt solution out of, and then I'm going to use this strainer over it and pour that in there. And then we'll just stir it around and get all the salt solution down. And so now that we have that strained and we're going to discard the uh, feces in there, and then I'm going to take this pipette and I'm just going to stir it around for a few seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw off the top of the water or the top of the salt solution um, to fill the slide because the eggs have a certain amount of weight and with this salt solution they float in it. So they're going to be, the higher eggs are going to be at the top. So I'll, I'll depress the pipette, put it in there, suck it up, and then I'll fill up the slide and really, as long as I have those grids covered, and then just for the, and then I'll do it, repeat that process again, you know, and so now I've got the, the two sides, they're both filled, all the grid lines are covered, there's no air bubbles in there, and so we'll put, take this, we'll give it a minute for those eggs to float up in the solution, and then we'll put it on the microscope and see what we've got. So what I'm going to do here is work the slide up and down and back and forth as I go up each chamber and count the eggs in there. And since I've got two sets of chambers, I'm going to count those, add the total together, multiply that by 25, and that's what's going to give us our eggs per gram. So, and with this microscope, I set it on a 4X magnification, and I'll actually focus in, there'll be like some little tiny air bubbles. Um, and if I can focus in on those, that's generally about the, the level where the eggs will be too. And so I'm just going to go up and down and count the eggs. All right, so in that first set of chambers, I've got nine eggs. And so now I'm going to move it over and I'm going to count, repeat that same process for the other half of the slide. And I'm going to count those and see how many I have. And normally, it depends on how many eggs, but they're normally pretty close. So on both slides, I had, well, one slide I had nine, the other one I had seven. So that gave me 16 eggs. I multiplied that by 25, and that's what gave me 400 eggs per gram. It's something to watch the goat, but I'm not going to deworm this goat right away because um, that's not really that high of a number. It may sound like a lot, but uh, it's not. Like I said, normally I'll deworm if they're over 1,000 eggs per gram. Um, but with this goat, what I'll do is I'll just uh, monitor them and... Um, just keep an eye on them and see how they do. But um, as of now, the goat's acting fine. Everything seems good. Um, good color still. Slightly higher eggs count than what I would prefer to see. But, but again, not, nothing alarming. And so I'm going to wait on this goat. So let me see if I can zoom in and I'll show you what I'm looking for. Yeah, so what I'm looking for in these slides is what you see right there in the middle of the screen. That's a strongyle egg which is the main uh, cause of, of death in anemia in goats. 
is a barber pole worm, which is a type of strongyle. And so that's what I'm really counting. Um, you know, some of the other worms, they don't even show up in, in a fecal test. Um, but this is the one that's the main cause for concern in your goat herd. And as far as what else you see on that slide, so that little spot below it, that's just uh, some debris. And then those little um, black circles with the light dot in it, those are just little tiny air bubbles. So uh, nothing to be concerned with there. But yeah, but that right there is what I'm looking for and counting when I'm scrolling up and down these chambers to see. And to see it at this magnification, that, that switched it to a 10X. So it uh, got you a little bit tighter in there. But again, when I'm counting eggs, I put it on a 4X. And then that way I can see like the entire from blue line to blue line on my slides and it just makes it easier to count them. Well, we hope this information was helpful to you. And if you want to see the full detailed video of our goat operation, be sure to click this video here. And thanks for watching.